So now you're in my system and as you guys can see this is the footage so let's play this. So it's a completely drone kind of shot and it's really well shot for this kind of tracking method. So today's topic is actually what I'll do. I'll track something and by using that tracking data I'll roto that entire object. So let's get started. Okay, so now just zoom it slightly and what I did before starting this tutorial, I press S on keyboard and then I set this to 1 to 300 frames and full size format to HD 1900, 1920 by 1080p. Okay, so now uh, what the next thing is, I'll take a tracker note, it's kind of like point tracker, like press, press tab on keyboard and track a tracker. So next I'll just do this from 10 to 1. Okay, next press add tracker. So when you press add tracker, you can see this pop up here and it's kind of a after effects uh, tracker like. So let's put it here uh, slightly like this and slightly like this. So what I did, I put it to here because this much area is like a contrast area. So which is really good for my tracking. So okay. Fine. Now what I'll do, I'll just select this tracker and press this forward track. But before this forward track, I have to track this uh, like backward because I am in uh, 25 frames. To, so just forward, uh, like tracking backward. So just press this for track backward and it's less frames. So you can see, you can monitor it from here. So now it's completely done properly. Now let's jump to 25 frame and I have to track now forward. So let's press forward track and you can monitor it from here that you're tracking moving properly or not. So when you, you need to complete, I'll get back to you. Okay, so now my tracking is complete. So you can see this tracker is getting in right position throughout like 300 frames, which is really well. So now go to the first frame. Now what I have to do, I'll take a roto node, press O on keyboard and you can take a roto node, connect this BG to this one and I have to connect this viewer to this one. Let's double click on it, take this Bezier. Now what I'll do, I'll roto this building. So just click here and slightly click here and you can do in more details but in this case I'm doing this as a roughly. You can use so much details here and lightly like this okay fine now two things you can do you can put this uh, tracking informations data to this uh, roto layer like a uh, root one you can from here to create a layer and rename it like like uh, buildings and put this layer to inside of this and then put that roto uh, sorry this tracking information to this uh, layer so I am doing this th thing here no like select this tracker and press this one go to this tracker transform of properties you can see there's a translate option center option two things you can do you can right click copy copy animation and go to this roto this layer and right click paste absolute but before doing this you have to make this tracker like double click on this you have to reference frame so set to current set to current frame so now i'm taking this frame number one so as a reference frame so i'm taking this as a reference frame now already co co copy those informations and like double click on it select this and right click paste paste absolute this thing you can do or else you can like right click link to tracker number one so this is also the same thing Okay, so I am preferred this copy paste option because linking is, I am not preferred linking. So now you have to take this center option from right click, copy, copy animation, double click on this, select this one and right click, paste, paste absolute. So now when you play this, you can see your roto is stick to their age. So this is a method you can roto by using that track, but you can see there are some kind of places like the roto is slightly moving up and down. So in this case, we have to adjust those rotos manually. So like I'm going to this last frame of this roto and take this one and like select all this slightly, 
select all this and zoom it here and I'm just put this row to shape on this exact position so now this frame is got animated and slightly like this and here you can put it like this fine so now go to this in between frames let's see see it's all this like same frame stick it stick to their frames so now what the plus point of this kind of roto is uh, lightly like this oh sorry slightly let's go in okay so what's the plus point is in this layer you can put anything and it will roto i'll just show the demo i'll just select this layer and take this base here and just i'm doing this roughly guys uh, you can do it in in detail way so it's slightly like this like zoom it slightly and put it here put this photos in the exact same way what i did last time and you can see now when you play this same thing happened this layers this uh, roto is stick to their point just go to this last frame uh, this last frame and see the roto is not in the same place so just manually have to manage those vertices or you can say this points exact same place go to this first frame let's see yeah it's everything is fine so now it's done so now take a pre mold take a pre mold so now you can see your roto node is done so now when you play this entire thing you can see your roto is done completely so guys this is the way so today you learn how you can track anything and put the tracking information to a roto node and uh, by using that information you can roto any kind of object but make sure guys you can roto only this much movementable areas because there's a one point track so you can roto only like position changes so when it's coming zoom in zoom out you have to take two point tracks or like a three point or four point track so the guys the main idea is same so hope you really love this tutorial and it's a very short tutorial and if you like this tutorial don't forget to hit that bell icon and if you are new then please do subscribe my channel like comments and share hopefully you love this i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy bye bye